Hello everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch bringing you another really quick video on, um, this time on line work and the importance of the weight of your line. Um, so what do I mean by that? Well if we just use a little bit of our page up here we can see a very light line, a medium line and then a heavy line. So these three things, they've got different weights of line. You can achieve it equally by sort of going backwards and forwards, getting a really heavy line and you can also have broken lines and things like that. But let's just stick with these like light, middle and heavy. And why is that an important distinction? Well, light light lines push things backward um, and provide a, a, a lesser silhouette. Heavy lines bring things forward and they can imply shadow and they can imply contact with the ground. So a really nice way of demonstrating this is with a really simple still life. So if we just draw ourselves a little apple here, I'm going to do the line all the same, just all the way around. Cover it all stem. Maybe we get another apple just tucked in behind as well. This one can be on its side. And then maybe let's get a pear going in the background. Pears, I reckon, my favourite fruit. There we go. So the weight of line is all the same everywhere. Everything kind of looks on the same plane. It's kind of floating. So what happens if we go in and make some things a bit heavier? So we could go around this whole apple. This one's in front, isn't it? And we can make that heavier. And already this, this apple's popped forward. We can do the same with a few elements of it. And then this side of its little leaf could be heavy. And then the back is light. And again, look how it looks like. This is in front, this is behind. And then this bit's on the ground. So we could go back and make it really bold. And do you see how just that weight really just seats it? We could do the same here where this is on the ground. And we could just add a little bit of boldness in a few places, especially in these contrasts where we're seeing the pear compared to the apple. And here, because this is relatively far forward, isn't it? So then we could again make this leaf be a bit more 3D by pushing a bit of it forward, leaving a bit back. And then the pear we just leave as it as it is. And then we can come in and add a few more sort of textural lines. We could suggest a little reflection there. And all these things just building on this really basic idea. So just with simple free weights of line, heavy, medium, light, we've got a very 3D shape. And then we could go on to finish off our sketch. So we could start adding some shadows, especially in these gaps here. Add a little horizon line. A little bit of shadow behind here as well, where the pear's getting shadow on itself. Also might cast a little bit of a shadow down this apple. And then down the front here where it's all touching the ground, it's also going to be in shadow, isn't it? So our light source is coming sort of across the image here. And there we go, that is a really simple still life but it's brought to life by just really simple weight of line. If we want to, we could add a little bit of colour. And because we've already got the detail with, with this line work, all we need to do is just gently pop on some nice tones. We could do a little bit of pink in here as well. But that line work is doing all the work for us. So our sort of subsequent colours, it's just so easy to um, just splash them on and just enliven it. And 
let's just get these lovely reflections going. And there you go. A two minute sketch, maybe a little bit longer, four minute sketch, just showing the importance of line work, of weight of line, and how that sets the scene for adding some punchy, interesting colours. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these sort of shorter, quick tips videos, do let me know because I can uh, produce more of them in the future for you. And if you enjoyed, please do like, subscribe and leave a comment.